I got some air filters I need to oil and I literally just bought some air filter oil. Uh, this is what I use for air filter oil and cleaner. Uh, Twinner is like biodegradable line, so um, bio oil and then they have a cleaner as well. I'm gonna show you guys a really cool method for oiling air filters that uh, works really well, uh, doesn't make a mess, you don't really need any tub or bucket or anything, and uh, is also really efficient with oil usage. You don't over oil the filter, you don't under oil the filter, you just get a really nice even spread. I'm gonna show you guys right now how I oil filters. All right guys, first things first, I'm gonna throw on some gloves because anyone who's oiled an air filter or even touched air filter oil knows that stuff will stick on your hands all day. So here we're gonna throw on some gloves real quick, have my little bottle. Now this is like the key to this uh, method. This is basically a ketchup bottle off of Amazon. Obviously don't put ketchup in it, um, but it's just like a little, kind of like a ketchup spreader bottle. I'm not entirely sure if it's made for like um, ketchup and food use, but it's something very similar to that. Um, so here I'm just gonna open this up. I'm gonna get some air filter oil. Here we're gonna pour some in. There should be more than enough. Now we're gonna put the top on. And here, it doesn't really matter the pattern. All we're trying to do is get a really nice even coverage, but I like to do these kind of little circles, just like this. And here I'm squeezing the bottle, obviously, to make air filter oil come out. But we're just gonna go around the filter, doing these little overlapping swirls, circles, whatever you wanna call them. Do a little bit in the center. Um, on these filters, most of the dirt, uh, just cause how the intake tract is designed on the 250. Most of the dirt is kind of around the center, so I'll put a little more air filter oil in the center. Put a little air filter oil around the rim of the filter, or the outside edge. Just like that. And then I'll flip it over and do the exact same thing on the back. There we go, we got it evenly coated front and back with air filter oil as you can see. Now we're just gonna squeeze it and work it all in. You wanna be careful not to twist and wring the filter out, you just wanna clump it into balls and squeeze it. Here we're just gonna work the filter oil in, making sure, again, number one priority is to get the filter nice and evenly coated in oil. Uh, don't need to go too crazy, don't need to saturate the filter in oil to where it's dripping. As you guys can saw, we got some drips uh, there like initially, but generally when you're oiling a filter, the first couple squeezes might do that, but uh, if you're still squeezing your filter after a minute or two and it's still dripping oil, you probably over oiled it. And all you gotta do there is just get a paper towel and kind of scrunch it up with the filter to absorb some of that oil. But here we're looking pretty good. And because this filter oil just came out of the container, it's gonna need some time to basically settle in. Um, there's a carrier agent in the filter oil that evaporates after a little while. Um, so yeah, uh, obviously you can't put this filter in the bike right away and go ride. This filter oil is still wet. It still kind of feels more like a liquid than it does a tacky filter oil. So. Um, all filter oils need time to set. Generally overnight's good enough. But uh, yeah, here, I can feel it's just starting to tack up a little bit. But it's gonna take a couple minutes for that to happen. And there we go, that's a well-oiled air filter. I would even say uh, we added a little bit more oil than we might have needed to, but this isn't quite over-oiled or anything. And uh, let's do the same thing with this filter. Same exact process, just making little swirls and the filters like this. And uh, again, I think this works really well because you don't have to have a bucket full of air filter oil. It's not really wasteful. You're not using more filter oil than you need to. After a while, you kind of get pretty good at gauging exactly how much filter oil you need for whatever filter you're doing. Some filters need more oil than others just because some are bigger than others. But in general, you know, I find this met method to be Pretty dang good at not wasting filter oil. 
coating it front and back. There we go, got the perfect amount. Once again, we're just gonna squeeze it, work that filter oil in. And I can feel already this filter uh, has already tacked up the oil on it. It's already tacked up a little bit in comparison to this one, which I literally just oiled. This one's already getting a little tackier. And you can see this one's a little bit darker too than this one because the filter oil is still setting in this one. A little oil goes a long way at the end of the day when it comes to these foam filters though. No need to go too, too crazy. Uh, number one thing is that your filter is nice and evenly coated in whatever color of filter oil uh, you're using. So here mine's green, so obviously these two filters are nice and green. And ideally front and back as well. All right guys, there we go. We got our two filters all oiled up. We're gonna let these sit for a couple hours, let them tack up, and uh, yeah, that's all we need to do.